Welcome to Gem Deluxe. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 thing about turquoise. Before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Number 10. The first and foremost factor in turquoise valuation is origin. The primary element in deciding the worth of turquoise is the mine where it was discovered, not its color or matrix, which refers to the stone's veins and patterns. The best turquoise was once thought to come from the mountains of Iran's Khorasan province. The copper-rich American Southwest, on the other hand, supplanted Iran as the primary source of rare and valuable specimens in the 20th century, including collector classics like Bisbee, Lander Blue, and Number 8. Black Web. Today, buyers are looking to China, a longtime supplier that has recently increased production to supply the majority of the world's turquoise. Number 9. Turquoise is the only gemstone to have an official color named after it. Pure turquoise's vivid beauty is so appealing to the eye that it has been designated as an official color, a distinction that no other gemstone in the world has ever enjoyed. It's easily recognizable and perfectly functional as an accessory that can be worn with almost any outfit. Number 8. Prices on collectible turquoise can be sky high because many come from so-called Nevada hat mines. Lander Blue is a Nevada hat mine because of its rarity, says Joe Tanner, owner of Tanner's Indian Arts in Gallup, NM. You can almost put anything you mind in a hat. Tanner understands the attraction of turquoise, as a fourth-generation trader whose family has been supplying Native American artisans with turquoise since the 19th century. He defines Bisbee Blue as a color that is so intense that it is worth the ordeal of extracting the stone from the earth at a wholesale value of up to $500 per quart. The most well-known way to starve to death is to mine turquoise, Tanner says. Mother Nature is stingy with her turquoise, and getting it out isn't easy. Number 7. Italians played a role in popularizing Sleeping Beauty turquoise. The word turquoise conjures up images of Sleeping Beauty, the classic Robin's Egg Blue variety found in Arizona's Gila County, for the majority of the planet. There's a compelling explanation for this. In the 1970s and 1980s, jewelers were looking for turquoise with a consistent color and a clean appearance, and there was only one mine in the world that suited the bill and provided a consistent supply, Sleeping Beauty. Number 6. The vast majority of turquoise is not the genuine article Joe Dan Lowry, co-author of Turquoise, the world story of a fascinating gemstone, says, 95% of turquoise is imitation. Although statistics differ, there's no denying that turquoise is a desirable stone to imitate, whether it's dyed, painted, enhanced, stabilized, impregnated with plastic or resin, or synthesized entirely. Sleeping Beauty's success has played a major role in this. Fouts explains, there was just so much stone to satisfy all that demand. He identified the rise of synthetic turquoise varieties as buyers sought the Sleeping Beauty look at prices comparable to fashion jewels. The result is a greater emphasis on American-made gemstones among collectors, especially among the most ardent fans of turquoise, the Japanese and Germans. Tanner explains, they don't want anything to do with Chinese turquoise. The explanation for this is that everything in the Chinese mine has been impregnated with plastic, so the gemstone loses its seal. They want domestic turquoise from the United States. The Lander Blue is the most well-known and sought-after. Then there's Lone Mountain, which has generated significantly more than Lander Blue. Bisbee Turquoise is also incredible. Number 5. Make way of Kingman Turquoise. Now that Sleeping Beauty is no longer producing, the Kingman mine in Arizona is expected to fill the void. The content is light blue to dark blue in color, with a white matrix that is normally dyed black. Kingman also comes in an enticing green color. It's a favorite of designers like Jackie H. and Pamela Love. Turquoise from the Morency Mine in Arizona, another major producer, is a close second. Number 4. Turquoise can range in color from bright blue to Tibetan green Tibetan. Turquoise has a distinctive greenish color due to the Himalayan land in which it is mined, making it world famous and highly sought after. When cut and formed for jewelry, however, the gemstones found in Persian and Egyptian mines are much bluer in color and have less visible veining on their surface. The various amounts of copper and aluminum in the water that flows through the rocks 
where it is formed cause differences in color and veining all over the world. Number 3. It is known as the Sky Stone by Tibetan, and Nepalese people turquoise has been admired in the Himalayas for thousands of years, since it is thought to have come from the heavens above. Its eye-catching blue-green color is thought to offer safety to everyone who wears it, which is why children in Tibet are given the gemstone as a gift, when they are young to keep them healthy on their life's journeys. Number 2. It is easy to spot the difference between turquoise and a fake how light imitations how light, a popular white mineral that absorbs a lot of light and can be dyed to look like any colored gemstone with similar webbing, is widely used by shady dealers to make fake turquoise gemstones. Fortunately, the difference between colored how light and genuine turquoise is easy to spot. What you'll need is acetone and a cotton bud. Dip the bud in the colorless liquid and gently rub it against the stone's surface for a few seconds. If any blue-green color dye is removed from the stone, it is clear that it is how light rather than turquoise. Monica Vinader sources all of its stones ethically and expertly from historic mines in the United States, and we cut them from the rough so that their color purity shines through when they're set into jewelry. Number 1. Turquoise can change color. Turquoise was thought to change color depending on the possibility of impending danger to the individual wearing it in ancient times. It was thought to be a sure-fire way of knowing when to seek cover or safety or when to make a change in one's life. As romantic as this might sound, a more modern understanding is that prolonged exposure to direct sunlight, cosmetics, and heat will cause a turquoise gemstone's color to change. This can be avoided with care and attention by periodically washing your gemstone with a soft cloth and only using water to avoid compromising the vibrancy of the porous stone. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.